What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Pete's Carport. If you didn't get to watch the last video, we basically got our wood dash stained and polyurethane and today we're going to be mocking it up to be able to install our gauges and as well as our toggle switches. So I've got the uh, dash now laid in there. What I'm going to be doing is taking a marker and I'm going to mark where all of my gauges are going to go and then I'm going to get to cutting those out. So stay tuned guys. This is going to be an awesome video because you're going to see the entire dash installed and see how it looks in its final stages. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so basically what I did was we mocked up the main holes because we want those to line up and that's gonna actually hold in our wood panel so it's nicely secured because basically there's clamps on the back that get screwed onto the gauges and they tighten up to the metal frame. So I wanted to make sure we had those in the right spot. So what I did was I went ahead and grabbed the drill. I'm gonna drill a hole in each one of those and from there I'm going to use a uh, saber saw and I'm gonna cut those out. Now you could also use a hole drill but that would um, take a pretty big hole drill because I think it's three, three and three eighths inches is what the gauges that we're using. These holes are a little bit bigger than our gauges, so I'm actually going to make sure I'm going to mock up our gauges and draw another circle, and that's what I'm going to be cutting out so that we don't cut too big of a hole um, because that was the issue I originally had when I upgraded upgraded the, the gauges. I had to put a um, like a, a basically a, a ring inside so that it, the gauge wouldn't fall through the hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and get the uh, dash set up so we can start installing the entire dash and then we can start mocking up our toggle switches because those are gonna go in different spots than any of the other gauges originally were. And the final thing we're gonna put on is our handle because that's actually gonna help secure the uh, dash to this side of the vehicle considering there's no gauges going on this side. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna get that all set up. I'm gonna fill you guys in as we go. Okay guys, so I've got my holes cut. Now I forgot to fill you guys in. I did use a hole cutter for my two inch gauges, but I did not wanna to try to use a massive hole cutter for those gauges. And the fact that these have nice uh, bevels, you can see the hole is not perfect, but the outer um, bezel is going to cover up any of that. So I think it looks awesome so far. Um, I'm kind of going to reconfigure some things. The, I just stuck the oil gauge in there because I've not installed my water gauge yet. But I'm going to put the water gauge there, oil gauge there, just because the oil line um, is already ran to that spot. And then we're going to be putting our gas gauge, I think, right in the middle there to kind of free up some space. I do have a volt gauge, but what I think I'm going to do is put my toggle switches so they're within reach. And then probably uh, the volt gauge and a, a clock possibly on the other side of that. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. I've not picked up the clock yet. I don't know if I'm going to install the volt gauge yet because I'm really going to think that out. But I really think I want to have the toggle switches within more reach than the uh, clock and the volt gauge. They're not as important. Then we're going to have our handle over there, which I'm probably going to be painting black as well. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, I do need to trim inside here because the uh, metal cutout that was already originally there just not lining up perfectly with the hole that I made. And then I'm going to be able to kind of get everything put in there. Um, if you're unfamiliar with these gauges, basically this gets screwed onto the back side and that clamps in uh, this entire dash. So basically the dash is going over an already existing metal plate that had some pre-cut holes out from the factory as well as from um, people adding different gauges and buttons. So I wanted to cover up all that nasty uh, holes that were all over the place, nothing was lined up, and put in a nice wooden dash and give it that classic feel, but keep it race oriented with the gauges and the toggle switches, which I've not shown you guys yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish mocking this up. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my toggle gauges out, show you guys those, and then we're gonna lay those out and basically measure out a perfect area for those. So stay tuned, here we go. All right guys, I'm trying to fill you in now as I'm going along here. I've got all the gauges screwed in from the back with the uh, plastic uh, bolt basically pieces that go on and that pulls the entire panel flush. Also went down to Lowe's and picked up this rubber piece from the plumbing area. And if you don't remember, there was a broken piece of plastic that was kind of like the uh, boot that goes over the steering wheel. I think that looks awesome as a replacement. You'll notice the black trim that I have uh, kind of mocked up there. There's another video that I'm doing where I'm going to be painting all of the panels with the truck bed liner black. And I really like the way it's coming out and the contrast it's giving. 
So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead now and grab my uh, rocker switches and we're going to start mocking those up. But I wanted to fill you guys in with where we were at. Okay guys, so I've kind of got the entire dash that I want to do mapped out. As you can see, the um, speedometer gauge is no longer there. Uh, the Basically, when I went to install it, the cable was a, an incorrect size um, to the gauge. And so after a lot of thought, I decided that I'm going to try to attempt to just do a GPS style gauge there um, that will look and almost match these uh, pretty well at a white face gauge that I found online. So I'll give you guys an update on that gauge, but it's not ordered yet. But it's going to fit right into that spot. I've got the steering wheel back on and aligned. I basically went back to the video and was able to use um, the mounting point that I had when I took it off and put it back on very similar. As you can see here, I've got the oil pressure gauge, a volt gauge. Uh, this is not hooked up yet, but this one is. Um, I put a choke um, cable onto the starter because I broke the starter cable while removing it. It is working, uh, but it does not pull uh, back in like it should, so I'll probably end up changing that out to a proper uh, start uh, pull switch. And then I installed one of the toggle switches that I was talking about with you guys. These uh, I picked up on Amazon. Very high quality. They're very durable. They were very easy to install. And I picked up five of them for $12. So I'm going to leave a link to those. They're kind of a cool carbon fiber and they come in uh, many different colors. But they're nice and heavy. Um, the spring on them is very good. And they do have an LED light. And I got the red one. You can get different colors right here. Um, I also did switch out my ignition. It is a little crooked right now. I'm going to realign that. And unfortunately I did scratch it while uh, tightening up the bolt. But uh, I do have four more switches that we're going to put across here. And then I'm debating on whether to put the handle on there. And the only reason why I will put the handle on there is because it will help support this piece of wood onto the metal frame. But I'm also uh, not in love with the way that that looks and the style of it. So I may look for something different to put on there, uh, do some research. So right now I'm going to keep that blank. As you guys can see, the aluminum framing is back on. I found these really cool uh, nut caps that went on and that secures it to uh, the frame. It is a little a little less snug than I want it. As you can see here, this does push in a little bit because these nuts are not as deep as I wanted them to be, but I like the look and I like the style. Um, as you can see, I painted it black. Now I did paint that with the uh, truck bed liner as along with that and I'm gonna be doing a video on uh, doing the rest of this as well too so that's kind of the uh, update here end of the video i really just wanted to get at least one of these gauges put in so you guys can take a look at that there's going to be four more of them going across there and they're all going to be functional and um, i may be putting in a gas gauge right in the middle there uh, so this is kind of the setup i hope you guys really like it this is the uh, final installation basically of my uh, polyurethane wood custom um, basically dash so hopefully you guys like it I think it came out awesome I like the way it matches the steering wheel um, and there will be future updates on this too as I add things to it and um, show you guys the functionality of those I'm also going to be moving on to redoing the carpet um, getting some of this rust out of the underneath of the seats that got there probably when it got wet and we're going to basically eventually be redoing everything painting uh, the, at least starting with the inside of the doors and then doing a full paint on the car as well. And stay tuned, guys, because there are going to be a lot of engine mods in the very near future. I just got a box in with some Weber carbs. And you can see here I've uh, tightened up some of the things inside the engine well as well. So once again, my name's Pete. I hope you guys are really enjoying this Austin Healy Sprite that uh, I just brought onto the channel. It has been a blast just playing around with it. I started her up just a little bit ago to play around with the temperature gauge I installed. There'll be a video coming out on how to install the temperature gauge and the oil pressure gauge as well. So have a great day, guys. Like, subscribe, and share. 